Hi guys, my name is Ambika and you are here with me on Unacademy's YouTube channel which is Let's Crack CBSC with us. So guys, you are here on world, in fact, sorry, not, uh, not on world, but perhaps in present scenarios, India's largest learning platform, right? And let me give you a very clear idea about how an academy functions, what exactly an academy is all about. So let me tell every bit, every corner of an academy. So first of all, we have got two subscriptions here. So the first one is your plus subscription and the other one is iconic. So let me tell all of you about the plus one. So herein, you can learn at the ease of the comfort of your house and that to live. It's not about recorded lectures, you know, which you have to watch. And if you don't feel like you can miss them out, all these lectures are live. Hi, entrepreneur. Right. So that is the first and the foremost feature of our unacademy. Second is unlimited access to all our courses. So once you have enrolled yourself to our plus course, you can check out n number of courses. Next is all this will be taught by the nation's best top educators. They are top notch educators, right? So they are so, hi Sakshi. So they are so prolific in their own field. They are like, they are like, you know, they are just so pro. They are so amazing in their own specific field. And these educators will surely going to help you out. Hi Sujal. And I'm all good. How are you guys? So these uh, educators will going to help you out in your uh, journey of learning. Next is exhaustive coverage of syllabus. That means everything will be covered, be it your any corner, every. In fact, all those tiny paragraphs which are being mentioned in any of those books, they all will be covered, right? Next is regular doubt clearing sessions. So, I mean, I perhaps belong to that you know, to that group of people wherein I usually have doubts about almost everything. So those doubts, if you are somebody like me, so those doubts will be clarified by again, those amazing educators. Next thing is live test CDs is also there. Another important thing is the study material will be provided to you in the format of the PDF. So you can download it, you can check them out n number of time whenever you feel like. Next, next is answer writing sessions. So specific, specifically with English, you know, this is the major problem that we know what the question is all about. We know like what exactly it is asking us to do. But the problem arises like, hey, how to do that? How to begin with that? So herein we will going to have answer writing sessions as well. So that was all about our plus. Now let me tell you all of you, I mean uh, everybody out there about the iconic subscription. So herein it has taken learning to the I mean to the zenith, you know, to the next level altogether. So herein, first of all, the most amazing and the most differentiating feature of our iconic is that we have got the personal mentors here. And by personal mentors, I mean that if you want a particular educator to help you out with any of those doubts, so that person will going to do that, that mentor will going to do that. Next is live doubt solving se sessions will be there. Along with that, the weekly report will also be provided to you, right? So in that weekly report, what all will be covered? Like how many classes you have attended already? What is your performance in the class, right? Uh, what, I mean, if you have attended any of those two, uh, tests or quizzes, so how exactly you have performed in that, right? So all these things will be covered in your weekly report. Next is Parent Connect. If your parents have any doubts related to any of your uh, performance so that is something wherein they can connect with, with us next things comes up is your study planner and all the benefits which were right there for up plus they are already here with iconic as well clear so next thing is everything every batch is right there hi nidhi good evening right wherein you will going to have uh, you know both the languages be it your hindi or your english because language is definitely not a barrier for us and language is not the barrier for knowledge also, right? So all these batches are right there in your Hindi and in English. So in whichever language you are comfortable with, howsoever you want to attend it, you can do that. And we have got the batches for your commerce, for your science, for your humanities, everything. Next is plus an iconic subscription. So I have already told everything about it, I believe. Right, whatever were the features of plus, that means India's best top educators, interactive life classes, live tests and quizzes, 
creative corner. I'll give you a very fair idea what creative corner is, right? So they all are there, but iconic is having all the features of plus. Along with that, you have going, you will going to have the personal mentors, lived out solutions, parent connect and study planner will also be there. So here comes the one which I was talking about, the creative corner. So, I mean, uh, we have somehow realized that we do not want to create those set of human beings who are just good with academics. We want an overall development of a human being. That's what CBC also agrees with. So herein, an academy has come up with this complementary uh, part of, um, you know, of your plus and of your iconic, wherein you will going to learn Vedic math, doodling, public speaking, origami, magic tricks, poetry, storytelling, robotics, mnemonics, debating, everything. And that is not from somebody who is like pretty fine, you know, about these skills, rather with the creative experts. So these will be taught to you by the experts of the particular fields. So that was all about an academy. Now the question arises like how can I enroll myself to it? It's very easy guys. All you need to do is go to your play store. That is how the an academy icon will going to look like, right? Type their an academy learning app and this is what it will going to display there and you can download this. Next thing is how you will come to know when all classes are being lined up for you. It's very easy. All you need to do is again, Go to Telegram if you have it, well, good. If you don't have it, we need to download that app, app as well. And you can simply type there Quest 11 CBSC Science and every relevant information about your course will be provided to you here, right? And another important thing is all of you can use my code, which is A-M-B-I-K-A, Ambika. And with that, you will going to get 10% discount. So guys, don't forget to use my code, right? So with that, let's move to today's agenda of the class, which is your chapter number two of your hornbill, which is we are not afraid to die if we can all be together, right? This is really a very interesting chapter. If you are somebody who is very active, who is pro with adventure, right? And uh, we have already covered this chapter in our YouTube in our special. Herein, I will give you a quick summary of this chapter as per the dates. You know, they're like many dates are being used in this uh, chapter. So we will going to check out on what specific date, on which specific date rather, what all incidents took place. So I would request for that you can sit with a paper or a pen and you can jot them down. So first of all, uh, the author of the story is Gordon Cook and uh, Alan uh, East. Yes, and they both were from Toronto. Toronto is there in Canada. Right. And these two authors, I mean, these two parallel authors have also worked for the, uh, you know, they have also participated in Royal Canadian Yacht Club. Yacht, you understand those huge joint ships. So they have also been, they have also uh, participated in that. And they are actually the Canadian Olympic sailors also. They represented their own country in uh, Olympics when it comes to sailing the boats. Right, so that was all about Gordon Cook and Alan East. Don't ask me which one is who. I have uh, no clue. Uh, I think, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. So here goes a quick summary of this chapter. That is, in the story, the narrator in his family planned to set sail from Plymouth, England to duplicate the round the world voyage. First of all, there are certain words which you need to use while attempting the answer of this particular chapter. The first one is voyage. Voyage ka matlab kya hota hai? When you are sailing, when you are sailing, I repeat, either from water or from air, right? Those mode of communication, uh, yeah, or transfer uh, or uh, your uh, movement, that is for that two things, you have to use voyage or voyage, right? So here in the narrator and his family, they decided to begin their sail. Ulugani planned kya that we will going to begin our journey from Plymouth, England to duplicate. Duplicate means the exact replica or to mirror the round world voyage which was made 200 years back by Captain James Cook. Plymouth is a name of a place bacha, which is there in England. Right? So that is Plymouth. So now they have decided, the narrator and his family, Okay, so narrator ka lineage kya hai? That there was this man in his family 
whose name was Captain James Cook, okay, who was his ancestor. So, उन्होंने 200 years पहले एक voyage किया था, एक sail पे गए थे, wherein they have covered the whole world, right? So, to duplicate, to uh, create the mirror image of that voyage which took place when 200 years back, the narrator and his family decided to do the same thing. This is a story of human endurance, selflessness and courage in the face of adversity. So this whole story is about human endurance. Endurance means acceptance. Like, you know, whatever the situation, everybody has come up together. Wherein they have, especially the narrator and his family. Sorry, not even the narrator and his family. In fact, all the sailors who were right there in that ship, they have worked courageously in the adverse, in the pathetic situation when they were into it and selflessly they were not simply considering themselves rather they were taking care of each other also so that is the basic concept of this whole story that how in the face of adversity we should not go selfish rather we should all work together for the benefit of everybody in the catastrophic i have already told you the meaning of the word catastrophic which means in a very uh, in a in a pathetic situation in a very uh, in a situation which is full of calamities a very disastrous situation distasteful situation right that is the meaning of the word catastrophic a pathetic situation their desperation to reach the land and their ultimate victory are presented in the story efficiently so they were in this pathetic situation and how badly they were struggling you know how badly they have made almost you know every effort to reach to the ground, to reach to the land. And that is the whole story about uh, this chapter. We are not afraid to die if we all, if we can all be together. So that is, uh, I have used this image just to show that these are certain terms which are being used repeatedly in our story. That is the main mast. So this is being called as the main mast of the ship. Next word which is being used multiple times in this chapter is keel and hull. So this is the bottom part of the ship which is called as hull and the keel. Right? These wali words bohat zada bar use hue the in the chapter. And the next term is chains. Like how they have released the chains and things like that. So these are basic, uh, you know, technical terms which are being used in the, in the term, in the concept of our ship. Now this is your Plymouth, England. Jahan se nune apni sales start ki thi. Again, Plymouth is basically a shore. It's basically an edge jaha se the uh, writer, in fact, the author and his uh, family has decided to begin their voyage. And yaha se ye lo cross karte hue, they have moved to the west coast of Africa to Cape Town. In only yaha se continue karke and they have moved gradually to the edge, to the tip of Africa, which is our Cape Town. Pe these two places are being mentioned in the chapter if you have checked it out, if you have read it. Now, here goes the story. Uh, we will going to cover the whole story as per the date. Like, konsi date ko kya sab hua tha? So, that is all we will going to cover here. The first one is preparation. That is what your whole first chapter is, of, the whole first page of the chapter is talking about how they have prepared. The journey was planned for three years and a distance of 1,5,000 yeah, kilometers. So they were planning, they were uh, planning for this journey for three long years and they were planning to cover the distance of 1,5,000 kilometers. And the second is route plan. So look a plan kya tha? That they were going to start from England. Or ye log England ko cross karte hai, they'll move to South Africa through Indian Ocean. Right? Or Indian Ocean se cross karte hai, they'll move to Australia. The Americas and finally back in England. So now you understand like how globe works, right? It is circular. So they have begin from England. They have moved to South Africa, right? Vahan se they moved to Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean ko cross karte hai, they came to um, uh, Australia. Or Australia se again to America. That is how the circle has been made or uh, to England, right? Vahape, that is how, the, what is the name of the, uh, of the boat? That was the Wave Walker, which was 23 meter long, 30 ton wooden hurled beauty. These are the terms which are being used in the chapter. Sailors, 
Now, who all sailed into it? That is the narrator, his wife Mary, son Jonathan, who is six years old, and daughter seven, whose name was Suzanne. Another two sailors were there, and they were Larry Vigil and Herb Siagler. So that is all which is being mentioned in your first page of the book. Now, uh, Larry Vigil was American, and Herb Siagler was Swiss. You can remember it that Siagler is having the, you know, you can, I mean, that is simply a way to learn it, you know. Herb Siagler, that is the, it is beginning with S, right? So that begins with Swiss and Larry Vigil, uh, the one who was from America. Now, the story goes ahead. It is now July, 7, July 1976. And here they start with their voyage. That's wherein they begin with their journey. Voyage begins from Plymouth, England. That is something which we already know now. Good weather and cheerful days. So, abhi tak weather bohat zyada acha hai. And now it is like happy days for all of them. From England via west coast of Africa. So, you know, England se move karte hue. They have moved to the west coast of Africa. And yaha pe they have met Larry Vigil and Herb Siagler. We already know with which particular country they belong to, right? Now, the, in the Indian Ocean, December 25. So, finally, it's a day of Christmas, right? Voyagers reach 3,005 kilometers east to Cape Town. So, I have showed you Cape Town is at the tip of Africa. They have reached there and they are at the east of Cape Town. The weather was still atrocious. Atrocious means it was pathetic. It was damn, sorry, it was really bad. The weather was still atrocious. Yet they had a wonderful holiday complete with a Christmas tree. So, thora sa jo weather tha, wo kharaab hona start ho gaya tha, right? But still they somehow managed to have a great Christmas Eve. New Year's Day saw no improvement in the weather. Or aise karte karte, finally it's New Year's Day, right? Uh, which is like after five days of Christmas. Or abhi tak bhi weather mein there was no improvement. That means the weather was still atrocious. Hey! Did we lose the track by any chance? Do we have any questions till now, guys? Yeah, I mean, it's going fine, right? See, we are covering it uh, day-wise, I mean, date-wise. So, I hope that will be uh, comfortable for all of us. Yeah? Okay, so here goes the story. Clear? Right, okay. Yeah, here goes the story. So now it is 2nd January, which is 1977. That is 2nd January. New Year is done, Christmas is done, and here comes the 2nd of January. Gigantic waves in the morning. Gigantic waves means huge waves entered. Sailing with only a, sm a small storm jib, and we're still making 8 knots. 8 knots kya hote bacha? Jaise ki how do we calculate, you know, kilometers, meters? When we are perhaps walking, when we are perhaps driving on the road, right? So, knots is basically a measuring, um, a way of measuring the water. I mean, I have covered this lap. Hum log just swimming karte hain, that's what we say. So, for larger term, it is knots. Ship rises to the top of each wave. Or up now, they have, you know, high, huge waves. Another thing in the whole chapter, waves are being considered uh, as something which has, which have always worked against the uh, sailors. And uh, there is one more term which is being used for the word wind, which is gales. It is G-A-L-E-S. Oh my God, I, it is because of mouse. It is looking so pathetic, but sorry guys, I'm blessed with good handwriting. So now don't doubt that. Anyway. So, uh, with the each wave, hi, Soumya. So, with each wave, you know, ship bhi unke saath utni hi high uh, pitch pe chali jati thi because that is what the high waves, high waves were there for or because there were gales. Gales means wind. Strong wind was there. Just ki wajah se ship itna height pe ja rahi thi of the waves. Endless, enormous seas rolling towards the ship. Or itni zada uh, waves, ship ki taraf, they were started moving. The screaming of the wind and spray painful to ears. Agar aap log, if you have ever been in an aeroplane, an airplane, right? So airplane mein jaise hi, uh, it starts, no? It actually gives that screeching sound to our ears. 
इनफैक्ट अगर हम कभी भी किसी भी माउंटेन रेंज पे जाते हैं इन आर कार आई रिपीट इन द कार ओके सो नाउ अगर वील गोइंग टू पुल आर विंडो पे इन ओपन राइट वील वील पुल इट डाउन सो अगर आपने वो आवाज सुनी है हवा की दैट इज सो स्क्रीचिंग इट्स लाइक दैट समबडी इज येलिंग इन योर इयर्स राइट सो दैट इज वॉट दैट वॉज द साउंड ऑफ द वेव देर Now here comes the fighting of the sea, or they are fighting the sea. The storm jib dropped, a heavy mooring rope in a loop across the stern lashed. So now, जो रोप थे वो भी somehow they were trying to get loosen up. Double lashed everything. So अब क्योंकि इतना ज़्यादा सब कुछ loose हो चुका थे ship के सारे parts were loosing. So now they have loved double lashed up everything. Went through life rift drill, attached left lifelines. Don't <clears throat> oil skins and life jackets so now they have bought the life jackets and they have spilled out those oil skins there on the ship itself that is what we have covered till page number 14 of our book the story goes ahead now it is january the 2nd and it's 6 o'clock in the evening waves higher than the ship और अब वेव्स की हाइट इतनी ज्यादा हो चुकी है दैट इट हैज क्रॉस द द हाइट ऑफ द शिप इट सेल्फ एंड दे आर फॉलोइंग द शिप एज वेल द वेव हिट्स बैक ऑफ द शिप द वेव ब्रेक्स द स्टार बोट राइट साइड सो नाउ जो वेव इतनी ज्यादा हाई वेव्स है इतनी ज्यादा हेवी वेव्स है दैट दे हैव ब्रोकन डाउन द स्टार आई मीन द साइड ऑफ द शिप The ship was almost was about to capsize. Capsize means it means zada high waves the that there were chances that ship will be drowned. It will be sinked inside the water. Mary, the narrator's wife, took the steering wheel. You remember that uh, he, uh, the author himself, says that you take care of the steering wheel. So she managed. She was there with steering wheel till the time they did not reach. I mean, to the maximum time when they were there on the ship. Larry and her pump the water from the deck like the mad men. If you remember those lines from the text, so now Larry and her, the two other sailors, the two other helping hands, they were pumping the water from the deck like two mad men. An immediate action required. Now the act, uh, uh, the the narrator needs to think of something so that he can somehow, you know, manage. He can somehow settle down with the whole situation. Water level rose threateningly. और वाटर का लेवल और ज्यादा इंक्रीज हो गया था इनफैक्ट जिस पंप को लैरियर हर्ब यूज कर रहे थे टू पंप आउट द वाटर दैट आल्सो स्टॉप्ड फंक्शनिंग विद दैट दे मूव टू इलेक्ट्रिक पंप और फाइनली दैट एक्चुअली वर्क फॉर देम ऑल रेडियो सिग्नल्स ब्लॉक्ड और इतना ज्यादा पानी था इतने ज्यादा हाई वेव्स थे द वेदर वॉज ऑल्सो नॉट इन देर फेवर राइट सो दैट वेज दे हैव लॉस दी कनेक्ट विद दी रेडियो ऑल्सो and that is how they lost the connect with the uh, with the uh, people with the base also see you the daughter she also got the bump on her eye so her eye also got redden up right now the story goes ahead it is now we are on page number 15 of your book the last paragraph it is january the 3 they so uh, somehow survive 48 long hours right so they have survived two long days in that particular in that miserable in that atrocious weather auxiliary engine failed i hope you all know what auxiliary means in grammar also we have auxiliary verbs they are basically the helping verbs so that is the meaning of the word auxiliary which means that you know the helping engine hi priyanshi so the helping engines they also failed and they did not work for them now it is on page number 16 that is january 4th the third paragraph so finally the water level dipped but they were still unable to hoist sail hoist means that they were unable to move their sail ahead on the mast for fear of the ship's possible wreckage now they had a very uh, clear idea they had a very fair idea that the ship is being broken to the next level there are many wreckages on that particular sail on that particular ship hoisted the storm jib headed to the direction of isle amsterdam isle means an island i repeat isle is a term which is being used for island okay so that is isle or uh, that is island amsterdam not very certain about it so now he was making wild guesses that at in that particular direction there is supposed to be this tiny island 
right? That was simply a wild guess. He wasn't sure about it though. And finally, deal at exactly 48 hours of a bad, of a, of a struggle. Now, here comes January the 5th, right? Now, let's just see what happens on January the 5th. As you all know, we have checked out, you know, date wise. So, so the struggle begin from 25th of December itself, but somehow they managed till New Year's. But the story begins further. The story takes a pitch further or usi ke saath, their life also became miserable from January the 2nd. Now, each day they were counting each day where they were trying to, uh, you know, make their things pretty comfortable. So that is why when it is being mentioned that they had their meal exactly after 48 hours, that 48 hours is being considered from 2nd of January. You got it? Now, it is January the 5th. Weather went on deteriorating. So the weather still goes worse and worse and worse and worse. Jonathan says, Daddy, if we uh, are all dying, we are not afraid to die because we are all in this together. So that is, those are the words which are being spoken by a cute six-year-old Jonathan. And uh, more water flowed in. And with time, lots and lots of water started moving inside the ship. Sio made a card with her family in the ship as a caricature. So caricature means a beautiful, uh, let's just say a cartoon, right? So that is what Sio actually made. So, uh, the official name is Suzanne. So that makes a beautiful, that she made a beautiful card for her family. Narrator went to sleep after predicting the ships reaching Isle Amsterdam. So our narrator made a wild guess that they will surely going to reach to the Isle Amsterdam. And exactly at 6 o'clock, they finally reached there. So that was all about our chapter, right? We have checked out, we have, uh, you know, checked out the whole summary of the chapter in the format of the event which took place, right? Otherwise, uh, I mean, you have, you must have read the chapter before also. If you haven't, you can check my previous, uh, I mean, I think in the month of October or uh, September, I have made a video on this chapter. So you can check it out. Once you are done from there, you can revisit this if you feel like. Right. And it's time to begin with the character sketch of this particular chapter. So herein we will going to uh, check out the different characters which are uh, being here in the story. Right. The first character was the narrator. So then the name of the character or the narrator is Gordon Cook, who himself is 37 years old. Right who started off on a world voyage with his wife and two kids. So he started the voyage, he started his journey with his wife and his two kids. He was the lover of adventure and thrill. So he was somebody who was a true lover, who was a diehard fan of adventure and thrill. He adopted practical approach. So now how can we say that he adopted the practical approach? Because if you will going to check out the first few lines of the chapter itself, it says that, that they have, you know, in their leisure time, in their free time also, they used to practice. They have uh, practiced for 16 long years, right, how they can duplicate it. So, in fact, in their free time, they were simply planning. They went for voyage. They went for adventures. He adopted practical approach. He was pretty much active. He was pretty much, uh, you know, he was actually having a practical approach, a very reasonable approach in whatever steps he was taking in those calamitous time or in this cat in those catastrophic time. He remained alert and strong willed. This is something which we definitely know. He never lost. I mean, for a minor, for a very microsecond, yes, indeed, he left the hope. But when uh, his son Jonathan and his daughter Sue made those beautiful gestures, the will which was being lost for a fraction of seconds was actually gained back. He is optimistic throughout the story. Optimistic is somebody who is positive throughout the story. He was an expert of finding direction. And how we, how we can say that? Because he was the one who told that Isle Amsterdam is like, you know, this not away from where we are. So yes, he was good with finding directions as well. Another thing, children, these are simply the bullet points. Whenever you are writing the character sketch, don't forget to write that in a paragraph. In English, it is not at all acceptable to write your answers in bullet points. You can elaborate these points in your own, uh, in your own words and try to pick out the content from the text. Like put an example also, like 
you know how you can say that he was an optimistic throughout the story so you need to pick out an anecdote and incident from the story and then you can validate your point next is mary that is she is the lover of the exploration and adventure and who was mary she was the wife of our author right gordon cook uh, she was brave to hold the wheel until the storm ended so she was the one who was taking care of the wheel throughout the time till the storm did not end mary could beat death through her strong will power and presence of mind so she did not uh, she did not show any kind of um, you know she was not at all petrified throughout the time and she somehow managed her own calm and composed and she simply handled the wheel on her own next is our two another characters of the story the cute little children of uh, our author and his wife they are jonathan and suzanne so jonathan was somebody who was simply 6 years old and suzanne was 7 years old they showed amazing maturity during the worst situations right and how can we say that that they never panicked rather they were the pillar of strength for their father despite being young children they remained strong and composed yes they were young but they never acted according to their age rather they showed maturity throughout their phase despite serious injuries both the children show courage and patience this is something which we already know because uh, suzanne got uh, you know surgeries once they reached to the land right but during that phase when they were uh, they were on their voyage she never showed any sort of troubles that what was what pain she was going through the fighting spirit shown by them gives amazing strength to the narrator right now the theme of this chapter is family bonding and courage so yes because the family was together yes they have uh, somehow managed it out and we can clearly see this we can clearly say this by picking out certain anecdotes from the story and they were in a very pathetic situation they were in a very catastrophic situation but they never lost their courage message of the story is unity is strength when there is teamwork and collaboration wonderful things can be achieved so that is the basic theme or the basic message of the chapter now guys tell me do you have any doubts till now i mean we have tried to cover up the whole story right we are done with the uh, themes we are done with the character sketch and we are done with the summary of the chapter now it's time to check out the ncert questions once these ncert questions will be done we will going to have a quiz right just the way we are doing uh, in those previous lectures also so in the same fashion we will going to check out the quiz here as well so uh, shall i go ahead with your ncert questions okay the first question is list the steps taken by the captain to protect the ship from rough weather begin to check the flooding of the water in the ship so that is these are the two basic questions that is question number 1 of your ncert book the first one was to protect the ship when rough weather began in order to protect the ship uh, from rough weather the captain decided to slow it down so he dropped the storm jib and lashed heavy mooring rope in a loop across the stem then they double fasten everything and went through their life raft drill these are the certain terms which we have to learn while attempting the answer for this particular chapter because yes they are technical and yes you have to remember them second question was yeah to check the flooding of the water in the ship larry and herb started pumping out water this is something which we already know the captain stretched canvas and secured waterproof hatch covers across the gaping holes so canvas you understand ship ki wahan pe cloth laga hua hota hai so the captain he scratched it out and he tried to cover those holes uh, jo ki ship pe ho gaye the by fitting in the fabric of that canvas when the two hand pumps blocked an electric pump short circuit he found another electric pump connecting it to an out pipe and started it so two pumps failed miserably but then somehow they got the another electric pump and that proved as a rescue for them question number 2 is describe the mental condition of the voyagers on the uh, voyagers hona chahiye na or is it voyagers 
yeah it says of the voyagers g e r s who are the voyagers who were there on the voyage on 4th and 5th february so we have checked out date wise like what exactly happened so this way it will going to help you out in answering the question as well so on january 4th the voyagers felt relieved after 36 continuous hours of pumping out water so that happened exactly after exactly on january 4th and they had their first meal also yeah first meal 40 hours yes okay they had their first meal in almost 2 days their respite respite means their uh, their uh, their their the comfort was short lived they faced dangerous situation on january 5 fear of death loomed large they were under great mental stress so that happened on january the 5th question number 3 is describe the shifts in the narration of the events as indicated in the three section of the text give a suitable title to each one of it this question is not so important but if you want to take a screenshot of it you can It says the first section describes the peaceful journey from Plymouth, England, to three thousand five hundred kilometers east to Africa, which is in Cape Town, which is Cape Town in Africa. The narrator is relaxed and full of confidence. So the first, in the first phase, the narrator was so so relaxed and he was having full confidence that they were surely going to cover it up. As the weather deteriorated, deteriorated means uh, become very bad. They faced gigantic waves. Gigantic means huge waves. they took precautions to save themselves and struggle with the disaster the narration becomes grim so jab wo ab is wali situation mein aaye to narration bhi change ho gaya you know starting mein narration kitna soft aur kitna soothing ja raha tha but jaise jaise story aage badhti ja rahi hai jaise jaise calamities aate ja rahi thi so narration bhi matlab words bhi thode se difficult hote ja rahe the we could figure out that yes there was a tension right so that is how you can uh, frame this answer you can take a screenshot if you want of this particular answer next comes on uh, talking about the text wherein we have to discuss the questions the first question is what difference did you notice between the reaction of the adults and the children when faced the danger this is something which you should know i mean yes there was a difference in the way both of them dealt the same situation there's a lot of difference between the way in which the adults and the children reacted when faced with the same danger the adults felt the stress of the circumstances but prepared themselves to face the danger so yes adults were more in stress because they wanted to keep care, to you know keep themselves secured and they were supposed to take care of the others also they took sufficient precautions to protect the ship when the rough weather began they equipped everyone with lifelines waterproof clothes and life jackets so that is all we have checked out with the adults now let's check out what happened with the children the children suffered silently and patiently this is the most important line of this whole answer that yes did yes indeed the children also suffered but they suffered silently they did not share they did not show their pain to their parents Sue did not want to bother her father with her troubles. John acted courageously, and uh, he was not afraid to die because he was with this mindset that we can survive this because we all are in this together. Clear? The second question is: How does the story suggest the optimism? What do we mean by optimism? Somebody who is positive helps to endure the direst stress. So direst means to the extreme. So अगर हम लोग optimistic हैं, अगर अपन हम लोग positive हैं in our life, so how we can come out from the bad of the situation? You can take a screenshot of this answer. This will surely going to help you out, and you can frame your own answers. These are simply, you know, I mean, if you uh, have no concrete answer, you can use this. But आप लोग पूरा text पढ़ के अपने खुद के answers भी you can frame them. Third question is, what lessons do we learn from the hazardous experiences? when we are faced to face with death again these are the answers which you can frame on your own although this answer which i have just provided you will also work for all of us but agar aapke paas apne answers hai because these are subjective answers they can vary from each other so uh, i mean you can frame your own answers as well and the last question is why do you think people undertake such such adventurous expeditions expeditions means journey in spite of risk involved again 
यू कैन फ्रेम योर ओन आंसर्स कि लोग ऐसी जर्नीस क्यों प्लान करते हैं ऐसे एडवेंचर्स पे क्यों जाते हैं जहां पे उनकी खुद की लाइफ स्टेक पे है सो दैट कैन बी द पॉसिबल आंसर बट अगेन एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू यू कैन फ्रेम योर ओन आंसर्स एज वेल एंड यस यू कैन टेक द स्क्रीनशॉट्स ऑफ दीज पर्टिकुलर आंसर्स राइट सो यस दैट वाज इट एंड इट्स टाइम टू मूव टू द क्विज ऑफ द डे as you already know how do we do our quizzes that you are supposed to oh, just a second yeah so you are supposed to go with the um, yeah so that's how you are supposed to begin with that you need to write let's just say your answer for the question is first a so that is how you will going to write in the comment box clear that is what we are doing in our previous classes as well So there's uh, no doubt associated with it, I believe. Yes, Nidhi, let me read the question first. Okay, the first question is: From where did the ship sail for the voyage? From which end? America, Mexico, Germany, Plymouth, England. Oh yes, my kids, you guys are really right with this answer. Indeed, that is Plymouth, England. Yes, three of you are right. That is Plymouth, England. Clear. Here goes the second question. Why did the author decide to go for a round the whole voyage? Like, what was the reason behind it? To duplicate the voyage made two hundred years ago by Captain James Cook to see the world, to settle down in different country, yeah, to show his children the world through ship. Nidhi is going with two A. Yes. Okay. What about entrepreneur? Right. Okay. That's great. And what about you, Sujal? What do you think is the correct answer? To duplicate the voyage made two hundred years uh, ago by Captain James Cook. Yes, that's the correct answer. Clear. Here goes the next question. What was the occupation of the author? Perfect, Sujal. Yeah. Here's the next question. What was the occupation of the author? was he a businessman was he a sailor was he a teacher or none of the above okay nidhi has uh, opted for businessman right okay entrepreneur is also going with the a option i think there is some error with your network sujal is it so because your answer is right okay that is definitely yes he was a businessman and that is being mentioned to all of us in the first few lines of the chapter fourth question what was the name of the ship of the author amazon wave walker wave ship ya fir sailor ship what is the correct answer for this question nidhi is going with wave walker nidhi is the fastest to answer these questions ha huh? that's great i am impressed so okay entrepreneur sujal indeed yes that was wave walker abhi tak everybody is uh, correct whatever they have attempted all the questions with right here goes the next question what part of the journey was pleasant for them pleasant means it was joyful it was fine for them first leg from england to cape town last part of the journey first few months ya fir never what do you think is the correct answer for this question i mean were there any pleasant time for all of them कोई भी एक पार्ट था विच वॉज जॉयफुल फॉर ईच वन ऑफ देम ओके निधि हैज ऑलरेडी ऑप्टेड फॉर हर आंसर लेट मी सी वॉट दी अदर्स हैव फॉर अस ओके राइट ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर सूजल वॉट इज योर से इन दिस Okay, that is first leg from England to Cape Town. Yes, that was something which was pretty joyful for all of them because there were no calamities, there were no bad or atrocious weather. Next is what were the names of the two crewmen whom uh, the author hired? Right. So, what were the name of those uh, two helping hands or crewmen? Shelley and Cable, Larry Vigil and Herb Siagler, Herb Siagler and Shelley Cooper, Larry Vigil and Adam Moore. Okay, Nidhi. Nidhi is going with option B, Larry Vigil and Herb Siagler. Okay. Chotu Entrepreneur is also fine with six B, right? Okay. 
Sujal, I'm still waiting for your answer. All right, Bacha. So all of you knows it well. Indeed, yes, it was Larry Vigil and Herb Siagler. Good. Okay. Next question. Why did the author hire the two crewmen? Like, why did he do it? To take rest from long the voyage. To help tackle one of the world's roughest seas, the Southern Indian Ocean. Because he could no longer sail the ship. Yeah, but he wanted to spend some time with his family. Nidhi is so quick, yeah. It is to help. Okay, entrepreneur. Right, okay. Yes, to help tackle one of the roughest seas and that was the Southern Indian Ocean. Very good, three of you. Yes, it is the correct answer. When did the waves starting start getting gigantic? From which particular date the waves got high, right? From January 25th, from January 2, from November 30th, you have to December 31st. What do you think? I told you this answer. I mean, we have dealt with this date already. Very good, Nidhi. What about the rest of you? Entrepreneur is also going with B option, right? Okay. Sujal, what is your answer? Yes, that was January the 2nd. Because I told you that on Christmas, yes, that on Christmas, Till New Year, they somehow managed. But once they were done with uh, the New Year, from 2nd of January, their trouble began. What did they do to slow down the boat in the storm? Stopped sailing, dropped the storm jib and lashed a heavy mooring rope. Just dropped the storm jib, did nothing and waited for storm to calm down. Uh, we have discussed this particular line also. Nidhi is going with drop the storm jib and lashed a heavy, moor, a heavy mooring rope. Okay. Entrepreneur is also going with 9B. Sujal, what is your take on this particular answer? And yes, that's the correct one. Okay, perfect. That is drop the storm jib and lashed a heavy mooring rope. What was the first indication of disaster? Around 6 p.m. when winds dropped in sky grew darker. Next morning when the ship started creaking, creaking means tootni ki awaz aane lagi thi. When it started raining ya fir when winds were strong. Uh, this is one of the episodes which are being clearly mentioned in the chapter as well. Agar chapter line by line par aata, you can answer this. Oh sorry, sorry. Yes, I think that's my problem. I'm so sorry Sujal, you have to bear with it. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, Nidhi is going with 10A. What about the rest of you? Huh? Entrepreneur is also with 10A. That's going great, right? And yes, all of you are fine with A. Sujal, right? I got your answer. Agreed. What happened after the first indication of the disaster? Like what exactly ha uh, happened when, when they actually saw the first indication of the disaster was right there. A wave appeared vertical and almost twice the height of the other waves. It broke the ship from inside. The ship turned upside down. Yeah, but it didn't affect the ship. What do you think is the correct answer? Very good entrepreneur. Yes, this is a particular line which is being taken from the text itself. Right, okay. Yes, Nidhi, Sujal, can you please answer this? Yeah, it is a wave appeared vertical or wave vahan se aa rahi thi, it actually looked like the double the size of the height of the other waves. How did the explosion affect the ship? The explosion hua tha, that how exactly it affected the ship. A torrent of green and white water broke over the ship. The ship started sinking. The ship turned upside down. Yeah, but none of the things uh, which were being above, above mentioned happened. No, Nidhi, that's the incorrect answer. Anybody who knows the correct answer? Nidhi, think again. I'll try to figure out the line which is being uh, mentioned in the chapter.
Anybody else is there to answer this question? I'm slipping out with those lines. Um, Nidhi is going with the ship started sinking. Oh, sorry, 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 Nidhi. You were correct. You were correct. That is 12A. 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 12A is the correct answer. That is a torrent of green and white water broke over the ship. That's the correct answer. Yes? No, no, no. The ship started sinking. Ye pehle nahi hua tha. Pehle water, uh, ye jo tha, uh, the green or white color ka kuch ek substance what maha pe andir aane lag gaya tha. Something spilled out. Yeah. Why did the author accept his approaching death? Like what exactly happened which made the author think that his death is right here? Pirates had attacked the ship because he was injured by the explosion. He was thrown in the sea after he was stabbed. Okay, I'm waiting for the answer. Kareem C, yes, because he was thrown in the sea, definitely. I mean, there were no pirates, okay, that he was simply thrown in the sea. Very good, right? Uh, uh, entrepreneur, that's wrong. B although he was injured, but there was no explosion. Nahi hua tha. He was being taken by the wave to the other edge of, to the sh of the ship, right? So, he, because of which he was thrown in the sea. That is the correct answer. What did the author see when his ha head popped out of water? So, ab jab usko pani ke dhakel diya tha waves ne, so what did he see? The ship was sinking. The ship was nowhere to be seen. The ship was near capsizing. Now, capsizing means sinking. Her mast almost uh, horizontal. Yafir, it was still standing. Okay, Nidhi. That is like my child, huh? Very good to a few. That is, the ship was almost about to sink. Yes, Sujal. Perfect. What happened to the author's body when he managed to reach the deck? So, finally, he came out from those waves. And he is right there on the deck. Deck is the front part of the ship. So now what exactly happened to his body? His head smashed again. His uh, left ribs cracked. Mouth filled with blood and broken teeth. He broke his leg or he broke his left hand. Very good, Nidhi. Okay, somebody has not let me complete the question. That was so quick of you, huh? So, uh, yes, entrepreneur. Yes, Nidhi. That is, yes, Sujal, perfect, that his left rib cracked, his mouth was filled with water and there were broken teeth. Who said we are sinking? He is his crewman, Mary, his daughter or his son. Sujal, okay, sorry, 16, okay, okay, right. Yeah, that's uh, B according to Nidhi, right, okay. Uh huh. Okay, entrepreneur. Yes, that was Mary, his own wife, who said that we are almost sinking. Perfect. What was the condition of the ship? Broken timbers, starboard side, bulged inwards. Bulged inwards means under ki taraf puri ka pura ship ka part ghus gaya tha. Clothes, crockery, charts, tins and toys sloshed. Slosh means yaha vaha behe rahe the. Their personal belongings were missing. Water filled in every room and their clothes were missing. Yeah, we can't say. It's a 17th question now. Like what exactly happened? Broken timbers, starboard side, bulged inwards, clothes, crockery, charts, stains and toys sloshed. Uh, uh, um, okay, Nidhi, yes, right entrepreneur. Sujal, I'm waiting for your answer. That is perfectly A. That they were broken timbers, starboard side, bulged inward, subkuch. You know, they were sloshing in the water. What had happened to Sue when the author entered their room to check on them? Like what exactly was wrong with Sue? Her head hurt as there was a bump. She was unconscious. Her legs hurt after she was fine. She was completely doing fine. Come on, come on, come on. Pick up the correct answer. It's the easiest of the lot, I believe. Like what exactly happened which made the author think that his daughter is so strong? 
that her head hurt as there was a bump she was unconscious her legs hurt yeah for she was fine come on pick up the correct answer come on nidhi entrepreneur sujal lock your answer tell it to me asap okay according to entrepreneur it's 18th a which is her head hurt and there was a bump on her eye on her head as well right okay um yes sujal that's 18 a perfect nidhi perfect what was the age of suzanne and jonathan 8 to 9 years old see first of all suzanne's age is being asked and then jonathan's age keep that in mind clear 8 to 9 7 and 6 10 and 7 ya 4 and 6 first of all they are asking for suzanne's age oh okay 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 now is it fine nidhi yes okay that's 19th b that suzanne was 7 years old and jonathan was simply 6 how did the author manage to stretch the canvas like how did he do it by repairing the holes by asking the crew men for help it happened on its own ya fir the problem got over as the storm had passed like what exactly did he do you know he stretched away that canvas and he filled up oops sorry i just told you the answer sorry 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 um yeah that is okay perfect nidhi right 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 entrepreneur and sujal what is your answer on this perfect that is by repairing the holes what happened after the hand pumps started to block up with the debris debris means uh, jo uh, i mean kuch bhi todne ke baad jo katra bach jata hai that is being called as debris the unwanted material which is being left uh, floating around the cabins what happened after the hand pump started to block kyunki hand pump pe kya ho raha tha now jo jitna bhi saman yahan se wahan fail raha tha it got blocked inside those uh, hand pumps floating around the cabins okay uh, okay the author connected an electric pump to an out pipe by taking out water with the help of bucket by repairing hand pumps yeah for the author found another hand pump okay all of you are going with 21a right sujal you there right oh yes that's the correct answer the author connected an electric pump to an out pipe perfect hi shridakshi here goes another question where did they decide to reach to save themselves and the ship so what was their final destination to protect themselves was it australia was it isle amsterdam was it mumbai india or was it japan this is the easiest of the lot i believe okay nidhi that is okay uh, can anybody write in the comment box what do we mean by the term isle i just told you what do we mean by isle jab hum log ne pura chapter revise kiya tha It's okay, Sujal. Only thing we want is like you attempt those answers. It's okay. They are reaching to me late. It's fine with me. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Can anybody give me like? Uh, can anybody tell me the meaning of the word "isle"? I told you. I told you when we were discussing the summary of the chapter. No, no trial to it. In fact, we don't know this. okay uh, i think there is genuinely some network error yeah so isle means an island oh my god what's with this just a second yeah oops 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 isle means an island no 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 isle means an island yeah now is it fine it's island okay yeah What was their first meal in two days? Was it meat loaves, bread and milk, noodles, corn, beef, and cracker biscuits? What did they eat for the very first time in those two long, like after those two long days? Meat loaves, bread and milk, noodles. Okay, corn, beef, and cracker biscuits. According to Nidhi, that's the correct answer. Okay. Entrepreneur is also going with option D, and uh, Sujal, I am waiting for your answer so that I can tell you. 
Okay, that's 23D. Perfect corn beef and cracker biscuits. Who said we are not afraid of dying if we can all be together? You and mummy, Sue and I. So basically, who is I here? John, crew men to each other, Sue's or mom. Okay, that is Jonathan. Clear. Very good. Indeed, that's the correct answer. That is Jonathan himself. Right? Who said that we are? We don't need to worry about it at all because we are in this together. Yes, entrepreneur. Uh huh. Right? That's the correct one. Sujal, you're there. Okay, perfect. When did they reach Isle Amsterdam? So, when did they reach? When did they land to Isle Amsterdam? Around 6 p.m. in the evening. Never reached there. At 11 in the next morning or they decided to take different route. 25A, okay. As per Nidhi, it is 25A. Okay, that's going great. That's going great. Perfect. Sujal is also going with 25A and uh, Entrepreneur is also fine with A. So yes, that's the correct answer. How all of you can be wrong together? Never, right? So, it is around 6 p.m. in the evening. What was the status of the ship on January 3rd? Like, what exactly happened to the ship on January 3rd? You remember January 2nd, ko ship pe, uh, there were giant gales, heavy waves were there. So, now they're asking for January the 3rd. Pumps had the water level sufficiently under control. Condition was getting worse. They were still struggling to control the pumps. Yeah, fir, everything was just right. Sujal, okay, waiting, waiting, waiting. Oops, yeah. I'm waiting for the 26th answer. What exactly happened? No. January the 3rd. Okay, Nidhi is going with. They were still struggling to control the pumps. Okay, or, okay. Here in, uh, Sujal, what is your take on this answer? What do you think is the correct answer for this question? Uh-huh. That is definitely that conditions were getting worse. January 2nd, se hi, in Loki situations, bohat kharaab hone lag thi. Yes, very good, Sujal. And somehow, uh, the situation was got worse later as well. How long? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, it says, how long did it take for the ship's testing and fitting? Kitna time le logo ne ship ko test karne mein aur usko fit karne mein? Month, few days, two years ya fir few weeks. You know, in logo ne kitne time tak ship ki testing ki, kitne fittings and all. That is, yes, perfect Nidhi. What about the rest of you? What is your take on this particular question? Oh yes, entrepreneur. Uh-huh, that is the correct one. Sujal, you're there. Okay, that's the perfect one, the month. It says, where had they reached on 25th of December? So, where were they on 25th of December, the Christmas Eve? No, sorry, not even Christmas Eve, the Christmas Day itself. 3,500 kilometers east of Cape Town. They were suffering the waves away from Cape Town. <laughs> uh, 2,500 kilometers from Cape Town. Yeah, but they have uh, reached Cape Town. All of you are going with 28A and yes, that's the correct answer. Here goes the second last question of the day. What happened when the author's head smashed into the wave? He was hurt but steady. He flew overboard sinking below the waves. He was not hurt. He gained control immediately. 29. His head was smashed. Like what happened immediately after that? 29th guys, 29th. Oh yes, he flew overboard. Right, right, right. Nidhi, entrepreneur and Sojal, he flew overboard sinking below the waves. Perfect. The last question for the day. What does May Day call mean? Call made in the month of May, distress call for help, both 
A and B, या फिर none of the above. It's the easiest of the lot, I believe. Right? What do we mean by this? Mayday call. Perfect, 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 perfect. That was distress call for help, which he was trying to make to connect with the base camp, but somehow he was unable to do that. Perfect, entrepreneur. Yeah, that's the correct one. Right? So with this. So uh, we are done with. We are not afraid to die. What is the name? Perfect, like exact word to word. We are not afraid to die if we can all be together. Yes, Sujul, that's the correct answer, right? So we are done with the first chapter. The second chapter, a photograph poem, is also being covered. Tomorrow we'll go with discovering Tut. Right? Another thing, guys, if you haven't enrolled yourself to Plus, please kar li jayega because I will be there dealing with tenses. So if you have any problem regarding that, you need to download the app and do. Hanji, आज in fact उसको block कर दिया था ना? You remember? कल उसको block कर दिया था. That is why he's not here today. So uh, yes, do download the app and you have to use my code, which is Ambika, which will surely going to give you ten percent of discount. So guys, um, I hope to see you tomorrow, all of you. Yes, and with the next chapter, again in the same fashion, we will going to do the summary. the question answers along with that the mcq will be done so you will be super fine with the chapter there will be no doubts related to it yes and with that i'm going to take your leave and have a nice day ahead and do take care of yourself yeah all right bye bye everybody